In this lecture, we're going to discuss structural conformations as well as unit projections. Now, we're going to use the ethane molecule as an example. Ethane is a two-carbon alkane, so it's composed of two carbons and six H atoms. Now, let's begin by examining the three-dimensional picture of our ethane molecule. So, ethane looks something like this where these two black intersections are our carbons, so carbon 1 and carbon 2, given by these two carbons on the board. Now these red spheres are our H atoms, so we have six all together. Now these black solid wedges are our sigma bonds, our covalent bonds, coming out of the board, given by these two bonds here. These dashed wedges are given by these two bonds, sigma bonds, in the back. They're going into the board. These two sigma bonds are on the plane of the page, on the plane of the board. So if this was the x, y axis, that means these two sigma bonds would be on the plane, on the x, y plane. Now one thing you should know about covalent single sigma bonds is that these bonds are able to rotate in space. They could rotate 360 degrees uh, uh, around. So, since all these guys are sigma bonds, all of these bonds are able to rotate. And in fact, what conformations are, they're three-dimensional structures related to one another by sigma bond rotations. For example, here I have one conformation. If I rotate this bond some given amount of degrees, I will have a second type of conformation. So these two molecules are related to one another by the fact that they're rotated some amount of degrees about this carbon-carbon bond. And these guys are also known as conformers. Now, there are many different types of conformers that exist, right? There's one conformer, a second conformer, a third conformer, a fourth conformer, and so on. Two important conformers that you should know are the eclipsed conformer and the staggered conformer. Now, eclipsed simply means that these two CH bonds are eclipsed. They're on the same plane. So if we look this way, on our molecule, so here is our molecule and we're looking this way, we're going to see that this carbon bond, this carbon H bond, exactly aligns with this carbon H bond. And likewise, this carbon H bond aligns with this, and this carbon H bond aligns with, aligns with this one. Now, this is eclipsed. What happens if we take the sigma bond and we rotate the sigma bond 180 degrees in this fashion. So we rotate it 180 degrees. Well, we get the following staggered conformation. Staggered simply means that this sigma bond, carbon-carbon sigma bond, rotate 180 degrees. And so these angles are now a 60 degree angle to one another. So before, we had zero degrees between each uh, a, a carbon, be, between each carbon H bond. But now we have a measure of 60 degrees between this bond and this bond. Now this is a more stable conformation, and we'll see why in a second. So now let's talk about Newman projections. Now Newman projections are simply a way to visualize these three-dimensional structures on a two-dimensional plane like this whiteboard or a sheet of paper. So once again, let's take our eclipsed three-dimensional structure and let's look at the structure from this way down. So when you look at it this way, in an eclipsed fashion, in an eclipsed conformation, all these CH bonds are aligned exactly across one another. So if we look this way down, all we'll see is this carbon bond and these three CH bonds. Because this CH bond, for example, will exactly cancel out the one in the back. And the same thing goes for these other two. So that means looking this way, this is exactly what we see. Well, this is not a very good representation because we can't see the carbon in the back. We can't see the three CH bonds in the back. They do exist, but we can't really see them. 
And that's exactly where your projections come in. It simply gives us a better way of visualizing this three-dimensional structure. And it's given by the following depiction. So we simply take three CH bonds and we connect them like, uh, like so, where each bond here is 120 degrees. Now, this intersection in the middle represents our first carbon atom. Now, to visualize the back carbon atom, we simply draw this blue circle, which symbolizes this blue carbon here. And then, because these CH bonds are right across on the same plane of these CH bonds, we simply shift them slightly this way so that we can visualize it. Now you should know th these CH bonds in the back are actually aligned exactly with this CH bond. And the same goes for these two. But in order for us to visualize it, we shift the angle, we cheat a little bit, we shift the angle so that we can actually see them. So our carbon one, our carbon two, and the CH bonds in the back, like we have here. Now, for the eclipse or for the staggered conformation, it gets a little bit easier because if we look at the staggered conformation, which looks like this, what we see is this picture here. So we have the carbon atom and it's attached to uh, three CH bonds, so three H's, and then we have that back carbon that's also attached to these three CH bonds. So in this picture, we can't really see the carbon atom. So that's exactly why we want the human projection. In the human projection, we can visualize this back carbon blue atom that's given here, as well as this first carbon atom, green one, here, given by this intersection. So the angle between any two bonds here is 60 degrees, as we said earlier, for the staggered. So the angle here between any two CH bonds is zero. The angle here is 60 degrees. And the angle between any two of these bonds, for example, this green CH bond and this green CH bond is 120 degrees.